What's up, everybody? We are fresh off the mother effing train here in Cameron and Cole Studios, aka my office. I just got a waste collection reminder for today. Tomorrow is garbage day. No recycling. It's just the garbage. Nice. So let's let's get into it. I think today you just kicked that tripod again. Fuck. I saw you do it. Man, you're in focus. I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to check. You keep talking about what we're doing today. All right, everybody. Just so you guys know, this is post Norton's beer review podcast, which means we are intoxicated. And what we're going to do, because we have no other ideas for content to talk about during this podcast, is we're going to go to YouTube, type in Wichita, Kansas, and see what the fuck pops up. I bet we see some of our boy Kevin on there. Probably. Some four brained bros. Um, so what we're going to do, type in Wichita, Kansas, hit sir. Oh, you already did that. <laughs> Wait, should he, should he sign out of all accounts and then search? Oh yeah. Um, so that it's just well, a raw. So, um, on Google Chrome, go right click down there. Wait, what? Go right click incognito. Whoa, new incognito that? window that. So under new window, there's new incognito window. It's about five, four options up from the bottom. Yep. That keeps you from having any kind of cookies or anything you can search things raw that's how i search the mm-hmm. um keywords and stuff like that and then it also so if you didn't is know that you do that yes <laughs> it's for seo purposes it's not for porn what the fuck is that chris <laughs> what is that your schnocks what the fuck <clears throat> all right so we're gonna go to youtube <laughs> And we're going to type in Wichita, Kansas, so we can get some results that have nothing to do with any previous search history or any kind of ads that we've seen. This is some fresh history as Google, as the YouTube algorithm presents it, which is basically exactly what we just saw. So, um, for the top ten reasons not to move to Wichita, Kansas. How old is that video? Five months? Six months? Six months. Is that is that Four Brain Bros? You know what's crazy? Four Brains Bros, same video down there, is a year ago. Somebody copied oh that video. Oh, my God. Wait, hold on. And they're the top result. Hold on. That's not fair. We know Kevin at Four, Four Brain Bros. He's one of our friends. Um, somebody plagiarized this video and is now four rankings above him in the search YouTube, alg- YouTube algorithm. That's really interesting. For the same topic. Okay, so hold on. Chris, click on uh, Four <clears throat> Brain Bros video, which is four down. Yep. And the thumbnail's not great. I don't know these people. These might be great people, but... And so we'll we'll kind of skim through this, see see what it's about. We'll comment on it, and then yeah. we'll go to the other one to see if it's any better. Because yeah, that's interesting. Somebody that made is interesting. It, somebody made an identical reasons why you should not move to Wichita. Video. Mm-hmm. So this is Kevin and his friends. Um, they all make up Four Brain Bros. It's Kevin, his friend, his brother, and his wife. And to be fair with this video too, is he also came out with the reasons to live in Wichita. Video. Yes, which is always an issue. Mm-hmm. The Almighty. Yes, we are back. New video. He's Crazy. a character, Kevin you guys. Videos. Wow, what a guy. <laughs> I love him so much. What's up, guys? Um, all right. I've been thinking about making this video for a while now, and now it's finally happened. It's so weird that I have still never had a conversation with Kevin. Isn't in that weird? Yeah. yeah, it's so weird. Chris, go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. I don't give mm-hmm. a fuck what this guy says. In this yeah, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Trying to be the bigger cities. And like, oh yeah. So Sounds- Kevin, Kevin is basically a, a, a Wichita, Kansas vlogger. He has now moved into the space of like conspiracy theories and like debunking stuff. Yeah. Just recently, which is really cool because Kevin, uh, I know we don't talk personally, and <laughs> and like our communications happen through virtual shit. But I just wanted to let you know, I think it's fucking great that you're pursuing stuff. It seems like you actually like have always wanted to do this type of content, and I'm glad you're actually being able to do it now, finally. So that's cool. Sixty nine. I'm an idiot. Um, uh, we will have Kevin on the podcast sometime. We're just waiting for another mic setup um, because we also want Chris on the podcast. We want to have all four of us on here. So, mm-hmm. um, so sorry about that bar in the middle of the screen. I don't fucking know what that's about. Honestly, to be fair, I'll probably re-edit this and then fucking record the video separately. You might not even see that bar. So you might be like, what are you talking about, Cameron? So we've seen this video that Kevin's posted. Yes. Let's see what the other one is. Chris. Yeah. So Chris, pause that, get out of that, and go to the go to the the imposter video. The imposter. <laughs> what is this? Oh. It's from Nurture Mind. What is this? First shot. Not to move to Wachita, Kansas. Or is it Wachita? How do you pronounce it? Oh, I just heard it. It's Wachita. Why does... Okay, pause that, Chris. Pause that. Okay. For those of you who don't know, YouTube will take your 
internet history basically and they will they will tailor your search results to what it thinks is best they are in the business of getting your views making sure you spend as much time on their website as possible absolutely what i don't understand is yes we are in incognito mode and but even when we weren't this video showed up number one <clears throat> why in the hell is this the video it's four and a half minutes long or it's almost five minutes long yeah. their youtube sweet spot is like 10 to 15 minutes right like they which, want you which to matches have, kevin's which matches kevin's yeah. like kevin understands kevin makes videos that get results kevin has eleven thousand videos on his video this one has 4.4 or whatever it said why is this showing me as the number one result as in what i will be interested in Somebody sucks someone's dick. Yeah, all right. right. So, <laughs> this dude, I don't know. I this don't dude know. was like looking through the phone book, like fucking, like that's the person's dick. I gotta suck to get on the fucking top research results for is. for fucking there Wichita, Kansas. <laughs> Yellow pages. All but right. Well, this I just, is. I like. I know we're biased, but oh, this is a very. <laughs> but like me and you, disappointing intro. I like, suppose. I, I guess. I guess it's crazy is because me and you put so much effort into each shot that we put into something right. a lot of the time. And then you see and, this, which is like skippy. Yeah, it's crooked. Like even the stuff that me and you were like, okay, I guess I'll settle, and this will be the shot that I use is usually still a hundred times better. Yeah. Than a lot of shit people we still settle put on. effort into it. Yeah. yeah. So it's like when we settle, it's still pretty great. And yeah. Like so, it's like this. This is the first shot. Well, it's proven that within this first seven seconds, you're not going to pay attention to something. You're going to click out of it. How the fuck has this made it? On that same subject, Cameron and I have recently talked about too um, how like a lot of videography companies in town. <clears throat> sorry, called their puberty. Um, <clears throat> in town, they don't they don't post all of the stuff they make for clients on their social media page. Yeah. Like you'll go to some videography, Facebook pages, Instagram pages, and their last upload was like eight months ago. And it was for some really big shoot they wanted to show Mm -hmm. off. But you know, they've been doing work since then. Cameron and I, we post almost everything that we shoot because we take just as much effort into that shoot, no matter how big or small that company is or that business Mm -hmm. or the cause or whatever the fuck. Like, we put as much effort into it as possible, and then we, at the end, are proud to show it off. Yeah, it's just so interesting to me that a lot of videography companies in town intentionally don't show yeah. the content they make. And, and we we have a bunch of videos that we haven't posted, and not because we don't plan to, but because we're we're making sure we give the people that we worked with time to post it first, and then we will share it and then post it later. That way, they get ourselves. the views, they get the comments, they get yes. the engagement. They get all that's, the traction. That's in yes. a way what they paid for as well when they hired our services. Yes. So yeah. then we will post it at a later date, add it to our YouTube channel and our website, but. Like we post everything because we don't want to feel like we have anything to hide. We don't want to feel like we have to hide our worst shoots because we want our worst shoot to be somebody else's best shoot. Totally. So it's, you know, you know, every once in a while we make a video where I'm sitting there like, man, man, now that we're in the editing room, I feel like I could have done a bunch of things differently, but yeah. it's still way better. Yeah. Than we a lot still of stuff are okay with we posting used to do. It. Yeah. It's still, it's still a great video. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it, you know, it's, I, I, as much as I say I would change stuff, I wouldn't because it's still a great a great example of our work. But like, that's the that's the difference. We yeah. post everything we make because we're proud of everything we make. Yeah, and we want you to know that there's no you know crappy little portfolio where we show you the nine out of a hundred things that we think are the best. We want you to see everything so that you know that if you hire us right now, the last ten things we made in the last year are our current example of what you're going to get. Totally. So it's weird to us when we don't see when we you know we'll see a new production company and we'll go check them out to see what the competition looks like. And we have, a, there's like nothing new on their page right. for the last year. Yeah. It's weird. How do we, this isn't about, this? this isn't about that. I don't know. I can't remember. We, we obviously were passionate about um, <laughs> showing our examples to people. Yeah. But, um, oh yeah. And then, then this example, this yes. is the first five minutes of the video and it's somehow gotten the top search results on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So, and really to play that game, all you need to do is make your description keywords and like, you know, subcategory shit is tailored to, for YouTube to read the words and that's how you get up there. But still yeah. viewer retention time should play into that. So I don't know how this is there, but. Well, let's continue. Let's but it's see got more goes. views than any video we've ever made. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. true. That's Other true. than our cuddlest video. <laughs> Don't fuck them. <laughs> oh, Chris. <laughs> Anytime we're on the <laughs> Arkansas River, Wachita began as a trading post and was incorporated as a city in 1870. It became a destination for cattle drives traveling north from Texas, earning it the nickname Cowtown. Here are the top 10 reasons not to move to Wachita, Kansas.
How is this the number one search result of Wichita, Kansas on YouTube? It just says number 10, a lonely place. That's what that's what the number 10 reason was? Yeah. Cool. It is in the middle of nowhere. There is low opportunities. There is high crime. And there's, no there's no opportunities. There's no opportunities. Did he say there's high crime? There's is that what he said? Yeah. There's no opportunities. I mean, Chris, like, you and I have talked about how Wichita, like it, us being centralized in the Midwest, there's more opportunities, of, co- of course, on the coasts of the type of stuff that we want to do. But to say there's no opportunities in Wichita is crazy. Yeah. What and, the fuck? And even if I'm 100% wrong on the millionaire thing, we have a lot of wealthy people here and we, we're we basically the heart of the whole air airline and like air, yeah. air, air, air not, whatever the fuck it is. What is yeah. aerospace industry? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We have That's planes and talking. shit. Yeah, we got <laughs> like, planes. <laughs> yeah, basically everybody and their fucking dad or dog works for a fucking airline place that like makes planes and shit. My dad does. My dad, dad or has. dog? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> like, like you, everybody is one step removed from somebody who works in the the aerospace field. Are we about to start like, like some YouTube beef with this guy? No. I feel like he's going to see this shit. Dude, he's they... not worth it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back off. All right, let's... Uh... But uh, it, it's just, what do you mean, no what opportunity? Right. Oh. What's that? Number nine, harsh winters. Very cold winter. Fucking and? I mean, uh, like, yeah, so does half the other place. Have you ever been to anywhere <laughs> north? Like, right. I haven't, but I understand without being there that they have fucking harsh winters. Number eight, extreme drought in summer. the summer. Okay. What? We Wait, got did... fucking seasons. We do have hot summers. It's hot right now. You're right. It is hot. Yeah, yeah. but... I guess Egypt's off the fucking table, too. I don't understand. Me <laughs> where drinking water is luxury. What's that foot hot doing? Hot water is something that tastes horrible. <laughs> That's a good point. The drinking water in Wachita is Why better is than California. That? Obviously, there are filters. <laughs> On the know. other hand, if you want well, yeah, to have a farm, like your crops Wichita. will suffer. Like, like as water yeah, people joke about it. I think he made a joke about it. used for farming, and you better watch out where your water comes from, as farmers tend to throw out water that is contaminated with pesticides. What? Holiday season sucks. <laughs> there are events throughout the year, especially in the holiday season. You will get to see something different during that time. However, this will cause traffic in the area. It will get annoying. Did he just make a comment about traffic? And then what the fuck is that? What is he talking about? Did he just say holidays causes too much traffic? A lot. They keep hoping that a tornado never hits them. In Wachita, people get together and sing Kumbaya. Kum- this video has the beer left me yet i don't I did, understand yeah, are we are we did we accidentally do lsd while we were drinking this is the shit youtube's like guess what this is your best course of action for what you just searched yeah chris <laughs> i'm not even interested in seeing the next five because like okay we've, we're at 13 minutes now about 14 like what the fuck is this guy what's what's his youtube channel name again what is that Nurture mind. Nurture you know what's mind. dumb is it just says four point. He's got thirty nine subscribers, subscribers. And granted, we only have one hundred ninety four at, the, at the, the moment. Look at the like to dislike ratio. Okay, so we're we're trash talking a legitimately bullshit video. Yeah, but but regardless, how is that the top post? Yeah. YouTube. Like, Good job, Caleb Hot Wheels. <laughs> In the comments. Oh, yeah. What are the comments? <laughs> Fucking bra. I live in Wichita. None of this is true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fifteen thumbs up or whatever. Um. Uh, Somebody, I, if you hate it so much, move. Go to California. <laughs> what? So, <laughs> with all, like, yeah, yeah. Honestly, this could be just a dude who trolls random cities. I and guess. then makes, makes fucking videos he's but got, knows how to work the algorithm. He's got four and a half thousand videos on it. Or that's, views on it. That's like, insane, though. Like, me and you are sitting there like, our video hit 40. Yay! I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Granted, we're a podcast YouTube yeah. channel, but still, at the moment. But, wow. Wow. Okay. Cool. Uh, can you just go back to whatever the search results were so we can at least just comment on like what else is there, I guess. That whatever that episode three um Wichita vlog is, I have seen that a lot. I've seen that one. Who is that? Um I don't know. It almost looks like that uh news guy, but I don't know. Um Twenty Things to Do in Wichita. So a lot of these are like they're not individual people's YouTube channels, but if you notice, Kevin's got two videos in a row. He he sure. actually dominates if you like, you know, not that you have to, but if you search Wichita, Kansas, Kevin's videos will pop up a lot. Yeah. But man, like that one. Move to Wichita, Kansas. Ten top ten cheapest shit c- shitty <laughs> city. Ten K views, all that shit. Anyway. There's not very many great things. Notice our channel hasn't popped up. <laughs> There's like One day. three or four more of Kevin's videos. Oh, hey, God. that's where you guys come in. Okay. For those that are watching that say, 
I don't know why I st- stuck around this long to get to this point in the video. We're not talking to you, all right? You can go fuck yourself. You know what, Chris, can you put <laughs> podcast after Wichita, Kansas to make me feel better? But to the people that have stuck around because they are true fans, thank you. Comment, like, subscribe, exactly, all that good man. shit. You will help us yeah. get these search rankings going. Boom! <laughs> so, so, wait, wait, wait. You type in Wichita Podcast? And yeah. We're, okay. I mean, I don't know anybody that's actively searching that, but... Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> A week ago when I typed in Wichita, Kansas podcast, it took me like three or four full scrolls to find our name. Wow. Now, who the fuck? It's because we hit that 198, right? Because I changed all the titles and said Wichita, Kansas podcast numbered this. Nice. <laughs> how, many, uh, how many subscribers are we at right now? Like 194. 194. We're at that 194. Yeah, about to hit that 200. Ooh, and then I'm going to have to change the description and be like, you don't want to buy merch from somebody with less than 200 subscribers? I'm going to be like, less than 250 subscribers. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, how much time? It's, we're at 1824. 1824 is my favorite number, Chris. How do you feel about 1824? It's great. God, yeah, it is. Ugh. Good year. All right, guys. Well, I mean, this is obviously going to be a shorter podcast because yep. we are uh, grasping at straws for the content to talk about. But um, thank you for listening. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, if anything, the the uh, moral of this podcast is, is to be looked upon as... Um, we're very appreciative of the people that we have that, that listen. I'm thinking of the people who comment often. Connor, Kendra... Kirsten, fucking, um, who, who else comments? We brought Corey. this up last podcast. The one that just, oh, we the did. The one that just posted, you like said the exact same. I forgot about that. <laughs> but well, well, either way, we appreciate you guys commenting. Please keep it up. Um, it's great to see. It gives us a little hope that this thing is going to go somewhere. But regardless, mm. like we talked about at the beginning of the show, if, unless that was the one that we decided to scrap. You know what, guys? You know what my favorite fucking thing in the world is? What's that, Cameron? Fucking yellow crayons, am I right? Yellow crayons? Yeah, dude, because they're way better than the other crayons. The only Why? thing you use yellow crayons for is coloring the sun. Maybe That's a giraffe. All we need. That's all we fucking need. And a giraffe. Yeah, you Maybe. idiot. What about a banana? God. Cole doesn't think before he fucking speaks. <laughs> Comment your favorite crayon color. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, so I, I do you buy name brand or, or off brand uh, paper towels? Well, I mean, I feel like the given situation in the world, like, in, in, like a lot of people, like, you know, n- normally, normally before COVID, I would buy, I would buy name brand. Fuck that! I only buy off brand. Off brand is garbage. Though. I know, man. It's just for me to soak up water on my countertop. It doesn't even soak up water, though. I feel like it just like like it, it collects water but then like distributes an equal amount on the surface that you're trying to clean. It's not magic. Wrong. It was cursed by a witch. I you're not like. wrong. <laughs> you know what? You haven't changed my mind. Okay. I'm going to buy off brand fucking paper towels, man. I don't know why you're so strung up about this. What? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be fucking weird about yeah, it. Yeah, dude. I asked you a simple question. You fucking blew off the rails with it. Uh, well, guys, these people are not fucking ready for the whatever this shit show is going on for this podcast. But this, I appreciate you tuning in. This is post alcohol, Cameron and I. Yeah. And if you don't ever want to see it again because you think this is a shit show, dislike then, the fuck out of me. Yeah, downvote the shit. Hey, God, I, I cuss I, too much. I did want to say, like, <laughs> say it was we've got best time. favorite towels, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's see. No, we don't need to see anything. The strongest favorite towel test comparison experiment. See, that's the kind of content we need to be making. <laughs> 39,000 views, 8.1 thousand, and sitting here, me and you are sitting there like, oh, cool, our fucking Black Lives Matter video got 169 views. That was nice how many views it got, though. Right. Yeah. Right. I am proud of you guys for that. You guys really stepped up to the plate for that and showed up when we needed you most. That was what pretty cool. Um, Corey commented just now, proud to be one of your four fans. <laughs> Tear face. <laughs> he so, says literally we were just talking about me making those comments and he says, that was in the last podcast <laughs> said, hyped for the beer podcast you guys should do one with street tacos in wichita hey hey that's, that's one suggestion and we'll yeah, take it into we're our gonna heart. take it <laughs> thank you man you just got your comment read live as we recorded 
Fuck yeah, you chose the right time, fucking, famous. Fucking love you, Corey, man. Yeah, man. Um, Chris, any last thoughts before we cut out? Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you excited for movie night? Sure. Yeah, cool. Chris. What about movie night? <laughs> I'm not up for taking movie night. I don't know what that is. But. Oh, man. All right, guys. We done? Yeah, I mean, sincerest apologies for this podcast. We're done, man. But, uh. I mean, we got to put out something, am I right? Until you guys come out with better ideas, this is what you're going to get. <laughs> Cameron looking like a cyborg and shit over there. What if right. I had a fucking DJ booth? That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, Some dude. Daft Punk shit. I feel real fucking stupid right now. All right. Well, you okay. look like it. So everybody, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, as always, for watching until the end. Uh, peace and blessings. Peace and blessings to you all. Toodaloo.